What's going on everybody, this is Super Robot Head, and I had to take a small little break from YouTube just to get some things done. Gotta get some things in order so we can get some new stuff and maybe look at some new equipment for the channel. Had to do some cost analysis, if you know how that goes, so we'll be talking about that at the end of the video. Uh, but there was a little bit of news here, so come to, you to us from the Transformers Hall of Fame inductee, Marcelo Martari, I think that's his name. He had some additional images of the Studio Series Transformer 1 Deluxe Elite 1 color prototype. Um, this was at the PulseCon. Um, we didn't see it at the PulseCon, but it was a prototype that was there at the PulseCon. This was shown at the secret meeting. Well, anyway, we're going to look at pictures of that and then we'll just discuss, you know, what we see next and what was said in the forum so far. And we'll just talk about the state of the channel and what's going to be next for that as well. And then we'll get back to the normal stuff starting being in the week. Now, this is the alt mode. And this is really, from what I can tell now, a render. Um, but we get to finally see uh, how the figures look at hand. Now, a lot of people were discussing the finish. You know, it looks a different finish. Looks like a different type of material. Looks a little shiny. I don't know what's that, what some of the people were saying. And that's kind of hard to say for me because a color prototype, you know, that's a lot of things when it's a mock-up like this and it didn't show it transformed, but I kind of like it. I mean, it does give us a, a, a strange surface, but hopefully at the end of it all, they'll give it a nice little finish. Or if this is going to be the finish of the surface of the figure, I hope it's good and not have any paint coming off. So, so far, so good. We know that we're going to be getting a leader one and interesting interesting but i mean if it's anything like the studio series 112 optimus prime i mean there was nothing wrong with that i thought the plastic quality on that figure was pretty good i mean it's not the best figure i guess you got to get that bigger one but other than that i mean it's not bad um so yeah i mean i'm in for the studio ones i mean the transformer one studio series figures i just haven't seen the movie yet and i'm probably going to wait for it to either come home or however any way i watch it i'm not really interested in going to see the movie and I'm not really interested in getting all the hype, you know, I'm not, you know, if the people are saying it's good, okay, then it's good. That's all I got to say about it at this time and nothing else. Um, I don't care about spoilers. That doesn't bother me none. If I want to see it, I'll go ahead and watch it. Now, as far as the state of the channel, we've been going over some cost analysis as far as new equipment. Um, I've got to step into some more expensive stuff that i've been trying to get my hands on so it could get a little expensive with a few figures depending on the cost um been going through what i want to finish out there's some figures that i you know 40 percent 50 percent 60 percent the way in so we're trying to make sure that we want to either finish that or leave it alone um and it's just you know this stuff that's coming out now there's nothing that i want to buy i mean i think i got steel jaw finally for like ten dollars and i guess i'll review that when it gets here sometime next week or so but it was nothing i bought lately i just been kind of going through what i want to do next and what i want to buy so a lot of it's not really so much transform related but if you're into super robots and stuff like that then these next few videos will be for you so the, what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. This is Super Robot Ed. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.